What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Baseball News. I'm your host Ivancito Perez bringing you the latest of baseball this off season. Alright, had you guys heard the, the phrase, if you can't beat them, join them? That's pretty much not, uh, outfielder Nat, uh, Nori Aoki did with the Giants as he signed a one year deal uh, just late this past uh, weekend I guess. So he'll be, he's uh, expecting to play left field for the Giants. So, uh, I think it's in terms of Angel Pag Angel Pagan that pretty much still injured. I'm not sure because he signed a four-year deal. I think this is the last season of him. But uh, Noya Aoki played for the uh, AL Champs uh, Royals in right field, so he's expected to play left field since Hunter Pence is still in right. So, I think it's a great combination in the outfield. Aoki. Uh, Blanco and Pence, so I want to see how he perform, performs in in the San Francisco Bay Area, so I I, expect, I think he's pretty excited about it. Also, this is kind of an old news from, I think also as well, last week. Uh, if, if you don't you don't hear, but here it is. Uh, Steven Drew signs a one-year deal with the Yankees. I'm expecting to, for him to play second base. Mm. I thought he was going to play shortstop, to be honest, but he was, uh, he didn't perform as much as I they thought it would be, even though he only signed one year deal with the Red Sox, eventually be traded to the Yankees, but I, if he's going to perform second, he can be a good asset. Uh, I want to see how he performs, how he catch, catches the eyes for the Yankees, uh, Clubhouse, all the stuff. I I know. I guess Joe Girardi will do something about it. Either he can play. A, I think he's gonna either hit on top of the lineup or or in the bottom of the lineup. I think my guess is gonna be on the bottom, but I'll see how it goes. Uh, as well, this couple of days, more trades around. Dexter Fowler had been traded to the Cubs for third base. Third baseman uh, Luis Valbuena and what's the other guy? Dan Straley. Sorry about that. Dan Straley. Uh, I don't know the, the. I know that the Cubs needed someone in the outfield, so I think I. I'm. I think Dexter Fowler is a switch hitter. Plays outfield. He can. He can fly. I can tell you, he fast. Uh, he can hit some power. So I think he's pretty good. It's a good deal. The third baseman for for the Astros now Luis Balbuena. I'm not sure. He can he can, he's a, a, a light drive hitter, so he can give you a lot of doubles. Uh, he's a he can play a solid third base, and I haven't heard much about Dan Straley, but they they needed a a relief a, a pitcher. I guess they they got it. So that was a kind of a surprise. I never thought that the Astros would go like that that deep so they get the rebuilding so I want to see since they've been in the bottom of the American League since they moved in 2013 it's gonna be a this it's competitive the American League is very competitive so I think they're pretty much doing the right things getting the but not you know make building the team but should build it from the bottom up because you don't want to just uh, sign veterans in the mid thirties, going almost uh, late in the prime, so you want to build it like little by little. You don't want to just go build a caliber team and just break it for later on. So no, you don't want to do that. And the big trade: Giovanni Gallardo goes to the Rangers for three prospects to the Brewers. So that was a big deal. I mean, come on. Um, now they have the Rangers have a solid rotation. Very solid. They have a good line. I think they're still working on their offense as well as the bullpen. But they're gonna f f focus on the bullpen right now. But the 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 prospect they they traded for Giovanni Gallardo they were big according to MLB.com. Uh, you can check it out. Um, Giovanni Gallardo is will be joining you Darvish and Martin Perez. So it's a very formal. One, two, three punch right there for the Rangers uh, starting line, starting rotation. So, uh, 
he's a good he's a good uh, uh, excellent pitcher his best his better years you can say uh, were in between 2008 and 2010 or 2010 2012 something like that not sure uh, the pitching coach for the Rangers Maddox was also pitching coach for the Brewers when he was when jo Giovanni was breaking out in the major league so I think he's gonna be way more comfortable with him in in Arlington right now so I'm I'm excited to see how he does in the American League. Um, I want to see how the Rangers do in the Ameri in the in the West now. So to be more competitive, at least try to win the come back from this horrible season they had. They were the first to be out of the postseason uh, contending because they were last. They had the I think the one the second or the first in worst record last year. It was horrible. So with, they have Prince Fielder, they should help a little bit, Mitch Moreland, all those guys. But you know, let's see how it goes in Texas. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like, if you enjoyed this video, just pl please like and subscribe. Um, keep uh, just stay tuned for more videos uh, coming the uh, during the the whole year. Make sure to to watch the whole thing. If you want to leave a comment about what, what you guys want me to talk about, like different teams exactly, you know, like one team at a time, or a division at a time, or a league at a time, just let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll check it out. Alright, take, take care guys, peace.